Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yoshihiko Kuroiwa from Tomoe Corporation, Japan. Another co author is Hidekazu Konishi from the same company. The title of today's presentation is Sliding Construction Methods and Past Works of Tomoe Corporation. This sheet shows six examples of construction methods of steel structures. Full scaffold construction method, temporary support construction method, block construction, lift up construction method, lift up turn construction method. The last photo shows sliding construction method. This kind of construction method is to be focused today. The diagram in the right hand side shows overview of a slide operation. I will explain from the top to the bottom. The first sector of a structure is erected on bearings. This sector is pushed ahead to a certain position. Then adjacent sector is erected to the structure and it is jointed in many cases. The structure connected together is pushed ahead again. These operations are repeated until the whole structure is to be at the right position. The structure may be jacked down or up to the right level in many cases. A number of conditions of structures and construction sites are influential and should be considered. This sheet illustrates the construction of Nagariyama Civic General Gymnasium. The diagram in the middle of the sheet shows the main mechanism of the sliding system. The propulsion system of this case is winches, wires, and pulleys. Each winch winds up a wire, which connected to the structure through the pulleys fixed on the substructure, as you can find here. Since the towing ability of the winch is not enough, the principle of moving pulley is applied. Therefore, two sets of multiple wires are installed in the left and right sides of the structure. The second project is Tokyo Metro Ginza Line Shibuya Station. This is a loose structure of a station building, and then it has a number of restrictions of the construction site. For example, the construction hour is limited. Also, the strict safety regulations exist. For these reasons, the efficiency and safety of a sliding construction method are beneficial. This is a kind of facility. Since the installation of the equipment of the facility is simultaneously carried on, the sliding construction method is chosen to shorten the construction period. When the portal frames are jacked down, the horizontal thrust occurs at the base of the columns. For this reason, the lower code is used to reduce the thrust temporarily. This sheet shows Shinbashi Station. The main purpose of the project is to cover two large roofs over the existing platforms. The figures and photos show the summary of rail slide operations. As shown in the above figures, rails are assembled on the working platform and each rail is slid outwards so that it can reach to the columns that has been previously erected to support the large roofs. This sheet illustrates the roof slide operations in the first and second periods. Since the bow joint space frame is adapted the added roof can be connected together with the pre-constructed adjacent roofs. 
I have a brief video of the construction, so please let me show you. This is Kawasaki Station. For this project, sword construction method is applied. This method was developed in 2006 for erecting railroad building safety and efficiently. The structure in the blue color is erected on the working platform and then it is pushed ahead towards the railway area. Because the girders of the building are used as slide rails, any extra temporary members are not required. The maximum weight of the building of Kawasaki Station is about 25,300 kN. That is, the reaction forces of the building are very large. Therefore, it is necessary to install a number of oil jacks at all the slide bearings and they are monitored for the safety. This sheet shows some main devices of the sliding system and the result of the measured varies in the operations. Conclusions and acknowledgements are here. Thank you very much for your kind attention.